earlier we landed about 9.20 in uh, KSC. This is when the HUD is turned on and you can see the HUD symbology. Those are the two, uh, are the sonic booms when we uh, decelerated below Mach 1. And here we are intercepting the uh, heading alignment circle and coming around Merritt Island, you can see there Banana River. Uh, like I said earlier, the uh, orbiter is just a fantastic flying machine. It handles very nicely, uh, and the weather was just perfect. Everything, all the conditions were great uh, to help us out with the landing. For those of you that aren't familiar with HUDs, uh, you've been looking at the HUD symbology. Uh, through a, was taken with a camera mounted uh, in the pilot's HUD. Uh, Marsha did a great job, I think, getting that on our flight, and it really adds to uh, debriefing for us. You see on the right is the uh, orbit processing facilities and the vertical assembly building. So we're approaching at 300 knots and about 20 degree glide path angle. At 2,000 feet, you'll see us uh, start our pre-flare pull-up to arrive on the uh, on our final flare and hopefully around 30 feet above the threshold as we cross the runway and for a touchdown at 195 knots. Gives you an idea of how fast we're actually going there. Decelerating from 300 knots to 195 knots in the pre-flare. The gear comes down at 300 knots. And we see approaching and on the left you can see some lights we call the ball bar which are landing aids for us, help us cross the threshold at the proper height. We're at 20 feet now, 220 knots, and a nice view from the from the rear. Followed by the drag chute, and then uh, lowering the nose to the runway, and then we uh, braked, started braking about 80 knots, and got rid of the chute at about 60 knots, and came to a stop. Uh, about 2,500 feet from the other end of the runway. 